Do you think Paul McCartney is dead? I thought it was a joke when I first heard about it. Paul McCartney must be the most hard-working musician in the history of mankind. Even at age 75, he's still touring around the world. Does he need the money? No. He is the world's second richest musician with over $1.1 billion in assets. Think about it. Would you work that hard if you had that much money? Probably not. And maybe that's why we don't have so much money. We just do not work hard enough, right? Maybe he just likes singing. But do you know how many solo shows he's performed on tour after turning 60? 414. Please note that I did not include performances he has had with his band Wings, nor did I include his 1989 to 1990 world tour. If I add those few in there, he would have done 600 solo shows since 1989. If Paul is not one of the legendary Beatles, I would say he has continued his amazing music career to prove his talent. But come on, he's Paul. He's a Beatle. He doesn't need to prove himself. But then why does he sing as if he had signed a lifelong contract? You see, his performance on stage is like a knife cutting both ways. In one way, we can see that he still sings like Paul. But on the other hand, we wonder why did he continue to sing as if he wanted to prove something? His looks, height, eye color, and even ears have all changed. But there is no such thing as everlasting looks. But his singing and songwriting styles have also changed. But hey, don't forget how Madonna changed with every new song. So it wouldn't be fair to question the noble and humble Sir Paul McCartney. But there must be a reason why so many people believe the real Paul McCartney is dead. No matter how you search on the internet, Paul is dead. The theory holds steady in the top 10 spot. With breaking news out every five minutes, holding the top conspiracy spot for 50 years? There must be convincing evidence that can't be ignored. Some of Paul's behavior has fueled Paul is dead speculation. Like his breakup with the Beatles. Like him being absent from his own father's funeral. And like his breakup with Jane Asher and his no prenup marriage to his second wife, Heather Mills. And what Heather later said about their ugly breakup. And don't forget what Ringo said when asked if Paul is dead. Of course, what pushed the conspiracy theory to another peak was the famous George Harrison tape. Of course, many people said the tape was a clear fake. Hmm. I don't know if it's a fake, but I know it is not a clear fake because so many people have thought it sounded very genuine. And with George fighting over lung cancer before his death, I would be surprised if his voice didn't change some. However, George is dead and we can never know if he was the one who made the tape. So, two years ago I came up with a way to find out if Paul is really dead. I made a video calling for DNA test on Paul's illegitimate children. Because Bettina already had two blood tests with the now Paul, any DNA match with her supposed half-brother Philip Cochran could prove the current Paul is a fake Paul if there is a match. It is a simple but totally doable approach. I just don't understand how come no one came up with this idea earlier. A few months after I released the video, I saw a video made by Stephen who claimed to be Paul's son. Interestingly, they referred to my video and did a DNA test. He expressed his wish to do a DNA test with Bettina or Philip, 
are Michelle, the other illegitimate daughter of Paul McCartney. Because there is still no news of any such DNA match, I guess the siblings never got together or never got a matched DNA together. Some people said they must have signed some confidential agreement with the now Paul. Or why would they refuse to do such a DNA test? If it is not a match, that would not change anything. But if there is a match, they could potentially get hundreds of millions of dollars. I did not think much of the Paul is dead theory at first. But then I thought someone like Paul would not be so mean and cruel to his supposedly illegitimate children. He has so much money and has given so much money to charity. How can he never give a helping hand to these children who claim to be his? Even if he doubts the blood ties, he should at least have it tested instead of fighting to such a test. It just doesn't make sense. Some people have asked, why don't you just ask for a DNA test between Paul and his brother Mike? Well, good question. But if Mike was in this big lie to cover Paul up, why would he cooperate? That's why I suggested DNA test among Paul's illegitimate children. But that did not work either. Now, I have a better idea. If it is not possible to compare DNA from two of Paul's illegitimate children, how about just have one do an ancestry test? If Bettina's DNA shows her parents to be English and German, then her chance to be Paul's daughter have just jumped. While if some of Paul's distant cousins show up in her family tree, bingo! I'm not saying a $59 DNA kit can bring anyone with Paul McCartney ties millions, but such a result for sure will bring attention and possibly lead to a DNA match. And if the result is not as expected, just keep that buried so we can continue to guess if Paul is dead. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.